No ability slowdown, controllable guest characters, rendezvous and melee items can now be earned through the main story, and a passive JP boost, I'll definitely be playing FFT this way. Welcome back everyone, my name is J7J, bringing you another mod showcase video, this time on Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions 2.5 aka Tweak, created by Zipish. This definitive edition of the game brings many quality of life changes and features from being able to change the name of your characters anytime you want, being able to access the poacher's den much earlier, lower JP costs for many abilities, to gender equality, meaning males and females can access the same equipment and have the same stat growths. There are no missable spells like Ultima and Zodiac, and a passive treasure hunter where you will always pick up the rare item. On top of all this, there are some balance changes and nice improvements in this version that don't take away the FFT feeling from it and rather improve upon it. I'll be covering all the ones I like most. The reduced job level costs in order to unlock some of the late game jobs like Dark Knight. As much as I love FFT and its War of the Lions remaster, the Dark Knight was a real pain to get. Being able to unlock it much faster is a nice touch and in this mod, it only requires a level 5 Black Mage and Samurai. Onion Knight requires a level 5 Squire and a level 5 Chemist, but they get a bit stronger with having Parry, Re-Equip, and Safeguard, making them infinitely better. Another huge highlight has to be the reworked and new abilities of many jobs, which are fantastic. For example, the Equip Weapon abilities like Equip Sword, in addition to being able to equip the weapon, your damage with the weapon will also increase by 20%. There's also an ability called Great Sword Lore, which allows other jobs to equip Knight Swords and Fill Swords, so the custom build potential drastically increases. Now I know what some of you will be thinking, and don't worry. Knight and Fill Swords have their weapon power drastically weakened, so Valhalla and Chaos Blade are now two handed with a weapon power of 20, making them a lot more balanced as their damage in the vanilla game was out of control. The Genji set has been buffed with some of the armor granting you stat bonus increases, the shield now has magic evasion, and the gauntlets even increase your critical hit chance. Equipment items no longer grant haste and were changed so they increased your speed, so that means you have to use time magic in order to have this buff making the Time Mage not so obsolete in the late game, which is a huge plus. Another thing which is awesome is that many of the unique characters were also revamped so they would have more of an identity. The Special Knights were nerfed and while their damage is still strong, it is a lot harder to one-shot enemies now. Orlando no longer has Shadow and Duskblade, as well as Divine Ruination and Hellcry Punch. Divine Ruination is now an Agrius only ability, and Melidal is the only one that can destroy weapons. But let's not forget about Mustadio, as he is drastically better with a passive safeguard and can equip guns regardless of what job he is in. Balthier also had a complete rework, so he isn't just an improved version of Mustadio anymore. And lastly, Raze can now use some of her support abilities on non-dragons at half power, making her kit a lot more versatile. Some of the generic jobs were vastly improved, with Samurai now having Double Hand as a passive support ability and Arithmetician with instant cast, making it a lot more worthwhile to actually use these jobs as a primary. There are so many nice things about this mod that I can literally make this a 2 hour video but instead, I'll finish it off by talking about three more incredible changes I love before finishing the video. The Warrior's Guild is now drastically better. You can choose between hiring a Fighter class or Mage class. Fighters are random knights and archers, and mages are white or black mages. All these recruited units will start with some learned abilities like low level magic for mages, and Phoenix Down and Potion learned for both. Gender is random though, so just try your luck. Broken and stolen items can now be bought back at the poacher's den. This includes katanas that were broken when using draw out, so feel free to use those masamunes and chidiji radins. Lastly, spell and ability quotes are back giving us that true vanilla and tactics ogre like feel. 
All in all, this is an amazing mod that truly makes it the definitive addition to play War of the Lions. I'll put a link to download the mod in the description below, which you can play and read the rest of the changes. I highly recommend it. Huge shout out to Zapish and FF Tactics once again for hosting and creating this mod. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.